Hi guys, let me introduce to myself. I am Shan and I am Ramis. Today we discuss the topic analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. Both these circuits are useful in day to day life. Analog to digital converters are used to convert analog signals into its digital form. Similarly, digital to analog converters are used to convert digital signals into its analog form. Digital to analog converters and analog to digital converters are main blocks which interface sensors to digital systems like microprocessors or program counters. Today I am here to present a tutorial on analog to digital converter or ADC. An ADC takes an analog signal and convert it to corresponding digital output. So first let us look at the types of ADC. The types of ADC are mainly flash ADC, ramp ADC, counter ramp ADC. Today we will be doing a 2 bit flash ADC. A flash ADC is the fastest but it is expensive. It is expensive since it has more number of comparators compared to other ADCs. The number of comparators in a flash ADC is 2 raised to n minus 1 where n is the number of output bits. Now let us see the circuit diagram. This is the variable DC source and these four are the uh, voltage divider resistors. These three are the LM311 ICs and these three resistors are the feedback resistors and these uh, four consist of the NAND gates. The variable input is supplied to the positive terminal of the comparator and the fixed voltage is supplied to the negative terminal of the comparators. So according to this voltage, the voltage is developed across each negative terminal of the comparator. When Assume that the voltage supplied is V. So a voltage of V by 4 is developed across this resistor. A voltage of V by 2 is developed across this res these two resistors. A voltage of 3V by 4 is developed across these three resistors. Now let us consider the variation of the input. When the variable input voltage is between 0 and V by 4, the output of these three comparators becomes 0. And when the variable input voltage is between V by 4 and V by 2, the output of just this comparator becomes 1 and the other two becomes 0. And similarly, when the output of variable input voltage becomes V by 2 and 3V by 4, the output of these two comparators becomes 1 and output of this comparator becomes 0. Similarly, uh, when the variable input voltage is between 3V by 4 and V, the output of all these three comparators becomes 1. When the output of these three comparators are 0, V1 and V0 is 0. When the output of this comparator is 1 and other two are 0, V0 becomes 1 and V1 becomes 0. When the output of this comparator and this comparator becomes 1 and this comparator is 0, V1 becomes 1 and V0 becomes 0. When the output of all these comparators becomes 1, V0 and V1 becomes 1. The truth table for this experiment is here. The variation in the input can be recorded into digital output with the help of this truth table. Now let us move on to the circuit. Now let us move to the components of this circuit. This is the variable DC source. This is the fixed DC source. Uh, these four resistors are the voltage divider resistors. These three uh, ICs are LM311 ICs which are used as comparators. These three resistors are feedback resistors. Now output of this LM311 is converted into a combination of two bits by using an AND gate whose IC number is 74W. Fixed voltage supplied here is 5 volt. So we are varying the input voltage. When the input voltage is between 0 and V by 4, the output B0 and B1 is 0. When it is greater than V by 4, the B0 bit is 1 and B1 bit is 0. When the voltage is between, when the voltage is above uh, V by 2, B1 bit is 1 and B0 bit is 0. And the, when the voltage is above 3V by 4, both the bits becomes 1. Next we go to the circuit diagram, digital to analog converter, here in this circuit includes R to R ladder network and an op amp IC, there is a feedback resistor RF and output is taken from the 6th pin of an IC, 
positive terminal is connected to the ground and negative terminal is connected to the R to R ladder network. Here B1 is closed and all other switches are open. We can replace this R to R ladder network into its equivalent form by using Thevenin's theorem, Thevenin's equivalent resistor RTH and a 5 volt supply is applied to this terminal 2R resistor. Here the op amp input terminal acts as virtual ground. Here it is at the zero potential. Similarly, here it is at the zero potential. There is no current flow through this resistor RTH. From this loop 2R and RF, we get an output loop equation B by 2R equal to 5 volt by 2R. If B2 is closed, we get another equation B by 4R. Similarly, if B3 is closed, we get an output V by 8R. From these cases, we can generate a general expression V out is equal to minus R of by R into B1 by 2 plus B2 by 4 plus B3 by 8 plus B4 by 15. In practical case, we use IC, counter IC to generate this 4 bit combination. Here the circuit includes a 7493 IC and a R2R ladder network and an op amp feedback resistor. The 7493 IC is used to generate digital input that is a 4 bit counter. Let's we take output from op amp. Here we get a step waveform with a negative polarity and we can measure the step size. Here the step size is 4.8 volt. I hope this session was informative and helpful. So we are signing off. Thank you.